Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today is going to be another progress update on our town that we have going on here. Now the first thing you're probably going to notice is the big wall over here. There's really nothing nothing happening in this area. This is the uh, my latest thing that I started on, but I haven't gotten any bit of progress made on it. I've gotten two, what, three walls set up. Uh, if it gives you any bit of a hint, it's right by the police station. It's something you guys have asked for a lot, so yes, the fire station is happening. It's just not happening at the moment. Let's go ahead and drive over here. You see a lot of the stuff from the previous episodes. There's the water tower. I'm gonna swing by the car wash here. Now you're probably gonna notice even more lines in the road where I've dug out. I'm cutting up the roads. It's actually helped a tremendous amount with the lag like this area here was running really choppy and it's a lot better and I've got a couple more areas that I need to cut up but it seems like all the lag in this map has been tied to the road so you're gonna see a lot of these holes I will fill these up I just had to cut them because they were like one whole piece and that's absolutely terrible for the game so anyways let's go ahead and look at the first thing I'm going to save the big thing for last. The big thing, you can see it over there to the left. But the first thing that I did, and let me go park the Bronco here. I finished the auto parts store. This was something you guys really wanted to see. This was probably one of the most requested items that was on here. So I'm going to finish this for you guys. All right, this one's a, this is actually a really basic building. There's nothing much in here as far as it being like special you know stuff you can interact with but I actually think it came out really nice here's a you just got a bunch of clutter here and that was my problem trying to find stuff to stick on these shelves it was a absolute pain but I filled the shelves up pretty good here you've got the front area you've got the little cash register uh, that bugs me uh, there's no way to do like fix the whole fact that it paints through the block like, I would really love to be able to paint just one side of the block on Scrap Mechanic, but that's not a thing, so you can kind of see the Napa logo there. Uh, the only thing that you can interact with in here, you've got this door, and this actually leads back to a, like, a little back storeroom, but it's really it. Let's see, go ahead and close that. Oh, if I can get to it. But yeah, I really like the way this building came out. It just looks right. Like, I took a lot of pictures of the uh, Napa stores in... This is really close. Uh, they all kind of have their own unique style, but this seems to be kind of a common common look for them. Like, I wanted to mix the brick in with the just the normal style building, and I think it actually came out really nice. But, that's enough of that. Actually, you know, we're going to walk down to the... Uh, this was the thing that was probably most requested. Like, I even just checked the comments, and there was a new request for this, so... I built a junkyard, or a tow yard, whatever you want to call it. There's a couple vehicles in here, we'll go over those. Let's go ahead and open up the gate here. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the inside of here, and I had to be careful about how I did this. I didn't want a bunch of lag, so I kind of kept the clutter down a little bit. There's still quite a bit of clutter, but I just knew that I didn't want the game to lag, so it might not look as junky as you would expect. But it's still a pretty junky yard. This is like one of those junkyards where the owner even lives on property. I've got a mobile home over here to the left. We'll actually go inside of it. and Actually, let's go ahead and do that and go tour it. Now, I did include a vehicle. That's not the vehicle there. It's just kind of a little project if you guys want to put it together. But I'll show you guys the vehicle over there in a second. But anyways, nice little house here. I'm getting told to build houses a lot and I will eventually get around to doing some like full-size nice looking houses but this is kind of a uh, just almost like a little mobile home he's got it set on the uh, setting on the property here a little bathroom got the uh, back bedroom here eh, nothing fancy but it actually looks decent so let's go out here close those okay let's move on to some of the clutter now I just took a whole bunch of random parts and just stuck them all through here. I uh, halfway built a uh, vehicle in here. This is kind of like a scrap vehicle. 
And I know a lot of you guys have actually been downloading my worlds because uh, somebody actually pointed out some things that were wrong from the uh, previous episode and I went back and fixed that. But I know this is something you guys might want to go in here and finish this vehicle or do something with it. So I've got it set in there. It's not on a, a lift. It's actually setting on those uh, little concrete blocks. So if you want to play with that, you can do something with that. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go into this building. There's nothing in here really. It's just kind of another storage room uh, This would probably be for stuff that shouldn't be sitting outside And a lot of these junkyards or scrap yards will go in there and pull off a lot of the uh, valuable parts So we've got them all stored in here. There's not much on the shelves right now. I've got some motors Just some various things uh, some thrusters for whatever reason But let's go ahead and close that now, I'm going to cover the vehicle last. I've got this thing, and this is actually a car crusher. Now, in Scrap Mechanic, there's no way to make this thing actually work, as far as it actually crush a car and everything be okay. I might try to do it here in a second, and I'm going to go ahead and have, I'm going to like, make this video. I'm going to save the file, because if something happens, I need to make sure I have this world backed up. Because I don't know, if I stick a vehicle here and actually crush it, let me go ahead and show you how it works. Like, I'm not sure how the game is going to react. But everything's wired. Let's see, over here to the right, you've got a, a little bit of a, it's like a reverse air elevator, basically. Uh, I kind of did the uh, lift over in the shop over there the same way. Let me go ahead and pull that down. But you've got two switches over here. The first one closes this little door here. This will uh, prevent, if you're crushing a vehicle, you, you never know what's going to fly off. So it's kind of like a little shield. And the other thing you do is you click this button here. Let's see if I can hit it without the UI. And boom, it compresses it. It completely crushes the vehicle. I mean, it's just something like I didn't even really know if I was going to put something like this in here because it really serves no purpose whatsoever. But... It just kind of adds to the uh, whole junkyard that we have going here. Now, one thing I did want to add, and I couldn't figure out a way to do it. You know, if you're going to crush cars, you're going to have a bunch of flattened cars just all over the place. And I really couldn't figure out a way to do that. Like, to make them look right. I could have just stuck, like, a metal slab on the ground and colored it a little bit different. But I, I just could not, like, figure out how I was going to do that at all, so... A little disappointed by not doing that, but I like the machine here. Pretty cool. Now, let's move on to the vehicle. This is a highly requested vehicle. Let's go ahead and pull it out here. Actually, I need the lift. Let me go and grab it. There we go. Alright. This thing appears in the comments section a lot. Now, it looks kind of funny on the lift, but trust me, it does balance itself out. Uh, the back suspension is a little further down because it, the, how much weight is in here, it compresses a lot. Uh, you know me, I like to create my vehicles out of metal. You know, I try to stop that, I try to do concrete, but this one just looks great in metal, so. Uh, nothing too complicated as far as the setup. You've got quite a few buttons, it's just the normal stuff. Your doors open, the roof opens, the hood opens. And you've got some uh, controllers going back here to the back. Now I'm going to show you how this works. This actually works fairly similar to my, uh, I don't know if any of you have ever watched my diesel tow truck video, but it's almost the same system. I stuck the controller out here so you can really adjust on it. Uh, I couldn't figure out a really good way to make like this whole system work. So the best thing I could think of was having this controller back here and you can adjust it yourself. Now... It is in a pretty good spot. Let's go try this thing out real quick, and I'll show you how it works. Now let's cycle through buttons, close the doors. That's the hood, roof. I've got these little side doors that open up, like little storage areas, and I guess that leaves five. Okay, five's the uh, the little winch back here. I'm trying to make sure everything's set up. Or is that a winch? No, maybe it's not called a winch. I'll have to check on that real quick. Uh, let's see, is there anything I need to show you in here? No, these doors just open. I haven't, I haven't stuck anything in here, but thought that actually looked cool. I'm trying to think, make sure this is all ready to go here. Okay. Alright, to tow vehicles in this world, I've figured something out. 
one thing you have to do, and a lot of my vehicles were hooked up to where they, uh, the back wheels were connected to motors, and you almost can't have that at all. Like, if you try to tow a vehicle and the bearings are hooked up in the back, the bearings don't like to turn, like, real easy, so you kind of just drag those back tires, and it's really a pain to do, so... Uh, let's see what I want to tow here. I don't think it's going to be powerful enough to tow the diesel, but... Let's go grab the SUV over here at the car wash. I think that's going to be one of the best vehicles to tow. Let's see, let's get over here to it. We'll just say they're parked legally. We're just going to go ahead and tow them off here. So, I'm getting a little bit of lag here. I'm not really sure why. Hopefully that doesn't last too long. But yeah, let's get ourselves in position. Now, uh, one thing that I normally do with my vehicles, uh, they, they normally set about the same height off the ground, so this tow truck should work on most of them. So what you're going to do here, we're going to line it up. I'm a little off. Let's go ahead and turn a little bit here. I would say that's probably pretty good. This lag is actually kind of bad through here. I'm not really sure why. I'm going to have to go through and cut the road up some more. But anyways, you're going to hit the 5 key. It's going to drop it down. Let's go ahead and place ourselves under it here. This is the tough part. you got to make sure you these uh, little things are going to hook out. Uh, and they're going to pull itself up here in a second. And it should hook onto the uh, bumper. It should be fairly secure. So give it a second. There it goes. All right, we are up in the air. Now, it doesn't look like it's that far off the ground, but that vehicle is fairly heavy. So, ooh, this is going to be a very tight turn. Let's go ahead and back up a little bit. Try to turn out and not hit the sign. There we go. Yeah, this is kind of laggy right through here, so let's go ahead and try to get out of this area. Oh man, this yeah, this thing takes really wide turns when you have something hooked onto the back, so kind of bear with me here. I have to be really careful to get it back to the uh, yard, so... I think this is the first time I've actually tried to tow this vehicle. It tows the uh, hot rod fairly easy, and the convertible, it's a little tight, but it does manage to hook under there. Alright, we're going to take a left here. But yeah, anytime you want to like do a new vehicle, you can just go back to that controller. If you kind of know your angles, you should be able to fix it fairly, fairly easy. I mean, it's not hard to work. I'm trying to think of another system to do this, and this is probably the one that made the most sense. So it's kind of the thing I went with. But you know, like I said, you're gonna have to go in there and adjust it if you want to work it with other vehicles. It should work with most of my vehicles, though. That's a good thing, and I'll, I'll keep it in mind when I'm designing new vehicles. You know, try to keep it a little off the ground. That way, if you want to go in here and tow them, you can do that. Now this is a little tight. Let's go ahead and turn it out here. There we go. Don't hit the fence. We're gonna hit the fence. I know that's gonna cause lag if I hit that fence. Now, this vehicle is a little bit lag. It's a little bit laggy, and it's because the whole fact that the, uh, I guess the collision going on there with the two vehicles really not meant to happen, I guess, in scrap mechanic, but anyways, let's, uh, I'm gonna drop it off right about, right about here. So the way you drop it off, you just click the five key again. It's gonna drop it. Let's see if I can get a view of that. And those little hooks are gonna turn in here in a second, so give it a second. I might need to speed that up timer-wise, but I wanted to give you guys plenty of time to position yourself, so there those go. So I'm gonna pull forward here. And it should raise up, and my lag's gone now. Yep. Yeah, it was definitely the collision there. Huh. Let's see if I can get out here. You know, I debated on making this yard even bigger, but I decided against it because, like, I needed to enclose it with that wall. And, like, last time I enclosed something really big, it was the uh, FarmBot factory, and we saw how that went, so... Anyways, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about future plans here in this city. Uh, there's been a lot of good suggestions. I know the fire department or the fire station. Uh, I know I need a fire truck. Somebody talked about a town square. You guys want to see some houses, possibly some sort of apartment complex. I don't know about an apartment complex. That might be a little too big for the city. But I can definitely throw in some houses. Um, I want to hear about some more vehicles. Maybe you guys want to see. 
but I feel like we're doing pretty good here. I mean, we've got a tow truck, you've got some rescue vehicles, you've got some normal vehicles. Uh, you've got everything. I mean, this is the whole theme is actually really coming together now. Now that you have a auto parts store, a paint shop, gas station, and kind of the dealership there now. The police station and the fire station is a little bit out of theme. Like at first, I was just going to do like a vehicle theme, but I think you know we're just going to go ahead and go full blown town here. So, got to do that. I've got to go eventually fix that water tower because it still looks a little funky. So I've got to do that, but yeah, keep telling me what you guys want to see. The last video did amazing, like as far as the scrap mechanic, I mean it had, I think it was like five, over 500 comments, and it was just left and right, you guys were wanting, like giving me different things to build, so we'll keep that up, I'm, I'm monitoring it, and like I said, I'm not going to get to everybody's comment, it's getting a little crazy with the comment section, so if I don't get to your comment, uh, hopefully I see it, and you know, I'll keep everything in mind and try to do what I can here. Now I do have a couple people that I'm talking to and we might, you know, go in here and try to do some stuff together and that will actually speed this whole process up a ton. So I'm going to try that. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have a viewer creation. So you get another scrap mechanic episode tomorrow. And then I believe Sunday we'll go back to turmoil and then we'll cycle back around to the new week. But anyways, thanks for the support. I'm extremely happy. I've already talked about the uh, 20,000 subs. I'm still thinking about that giveaway, so give me a little bit to figure all that out. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.